All right, this is Rap the News, and the Spirit came today and put this in order, and it is the gathering of his people, and this is how it's going to go. The elect will be taken out first. Again, the elect is a small handful of people. It is not the whole of Israel. The elect will be taken out of captivity by the angels, and that will be a sign for the nations, and they say ensign, but it will be a sign for the nations to let go of the rest of the people like Pharaoh. Matthew twenty four thirty one, And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. So it's going to be a great noise. That's going to get the attention of everybody. And then they shall gather together his elect from the four winds. From one end of heaven to the other. And they're going to see the elect being taken out after the great noise. So he's going to get your attention. And then everybody's going to be watching and wondering what's happening. And you're going to be seeing the elect being lifted out. They call on that the false rapture. And it's going to be the real rapture. After the angel gather and secure the elect, God will be smiting the nations. Dreams from the Israelites say that meteors is going to be falling down at that time. Not all of the meteorites, but some. You know, which is going to smite the nations and send them a sign to release the rest of God's people. So that's going to be God's message to the nations. Luke 18, 7. And shall not God avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them? I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. So as he's gathering them up, he's going to be smiting the nations as well. And then... After the ensign was given, that sign, that God wants all of his people, the nations will return the rest of Israel. The rest of Israel. Isaiah 8, 3. All ye inhabitants of the world, you nations, and dwellers on the earth, see ye, when, ye, when he lifted up an ensign, did you see when he lifted up an ensign on the mount? Zion when he lifted his people to Mount Zion and when he bloweth a trumpet hear ye did you hear that did you see that in that time shall the present be brought and that is the rest of Israel that's going to be a present to the Lord from the nations unto the Lord of hosts a people scattered and peeled got that trump y'all going to deliver us to Mount Zion and from a people terrible, and that is the nations, the wicked, from their beginning. A nation met it out and tried it underfoot. So that's us. They're going to be, uh, Israel was tried it underfoot by the Gentile to the time of the Gentiles. Whose land the rivers have spoiled. To the place of the name of the Lord of hosts, the Mount Zion. So the rest of us is going to be turned to Mount Zion. So God is going to lift up a group of us, the elect, the best of the best of the best. And then once we are taken out, the nations get smited. And then, and, and Israel itself is going to be damaged in that. God said, even though he destroyed the nations, uh, he ain't going to leave you unpunished. Right? Okay. And after we are Dwelling safely in our land, then the Gog and Magog war begins and the great worldwide earthquake will happen. And God will rain down meteorites, brimstones, and fire and destroy the Gentiles of the nations and their military and infantry. Ezekiel 38 8. After many days thou shalt be visited. See? We dwell in safely in the land by Mount Zion and we're going to be visited. After many days. So it's going to be a, a long time. In the latter years thou shalt come up into the land. That is brought back from the sword. That's us. So Israel was trotted down by the Gentiles. And you know. Slaved by the sword into the end of time. So we was brought back from that curse. And is gathered out of many people. Against the mountains of Israel. Which have been always waste. But is brought back forth out of the nations and they shall dwell safely all of them so it's making sense 
So we all in our land dwell in safety, rebuilding Israel. And then they shall ascend and come like a storm. They are. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. You and all your bands, all of their militaries is going to be coming to try to destroy Israel. You know, the real Israel, the false Israel, and that is the um, synagogue of Satan's over there. They're not in Israel. Tel Arad is the real Israel. They're in Mount Moriah and Palestine. So that's a false Israel. They're going to come up against the real Israel. So you don't get this confused. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land. You and all your bands and many people with you. The nations. And it shall come to pass at that same time when Gog shall come up against the land of Israel, America, says the Lord God that my fury shall come up in my face. You ain't going to touch his people anymore. For in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath have I spoken. Surely in that day there shall be a great shake and there go the great earthquake. This is going to be not only in Israel but worldwide in the land of Israel. And I will plead against him, Gog, Magog, America, the Gentiles, with pestilence and with blood. And I will rain upon him and upon his bands and upon the many people that are with him, all the nations, and overflowing rain and great hailstone, fire and brimstone. Thus will I magnify myself and sanctify myself, and I will be known in the eyes of many nations, and they shall know that I am the Lord. So Israel, when we are taken out and they have to deliver you, you know, gather as much seed as possible. All different types of fruit seeds, plant seeds, everything you like to eat, uh, cattle, sheep, gather, gather, gather people. You know, not just the gold and silver they said that we're going to be taken. The ship's going to be laden down with gold and silver and everything else. Don't, don't just take that. You know, take the sheep, take the, the trees, you know, the fruit trees, take the, the plants, you know, take wood and, and nails and things that we can build with Israel. And, th and this is the truth. So this is according to the Bible is going to go down in that order. Let's wrap the news.